in the mountains of Toyama Prefecture lies the village of Gokayama, a popular spot for tourists who come to admire its many beautiful old thatched houses. This style of building is called Gashozukuri, named for the steeply slanting roofs that resemble two hands joined in prayer. The slope of the hay thatch can be as much as 60 degrees. Gokayama gets some of the heaviest snowfall in Japan. This roof design allows the wet, heavy snow to slide off easily, protecting the structure underneath. The first story is built by a carpenter, but the villagers themselves do all the work making the thatched roofs. No nails, screws or other metal parts are used on these beams. Tying everything together with rope gives the roof extra flexibility to adjust under heavy loads of snow. And repairs are simple, since the rope is made from easily available local materials. About 60 of these traditional houses remain in Gokayama. And they're not just preserved for show. This is a living, working village. It's also a World Heritage Site, inscribed on UNESCO's list in 1995, together with nearby Shirakawa village. The number of visitors has boomed since the village became a world heritage, and some of the farmhouses have been converted into lodgings, souvenir shops, and a local museum. If you stay at one of these old farmhouses, you'll eat around a traditional sunken hearth. Regional specialities include river fish, mountain vegetables, and tofu made from locally grown soybeans. Because the raw materials come from these mountains, Gokayama is also a traditional center for making washi, or Japanese craft paper. Each sheet made entirely by hand Gokayama washi is known for its fine quality. The washi produced in Gokayama is also used in the village to make a wide variety of handicrafts. The oldest of all Gokayama's thatched farmhouses is the Murakami House, a rare surviving example of the style of 400 years ago. It has been designated an important cultural property. A lot of these Gasho Zakuri thatched farmhouses are now preserved as cultural assets. Obviously, our way of life has changed considerably over the centuries, but living in one of these houses today gives us an incredible insight into how people lived and worked in the old days. I think it's very important to look after them. Gokayama is also renowned for its rich tradition of dance and music. This song, Kokiriko Bushi, is one of Japan's oldest folk tunes. Originally sung during rice planting and harvesting as a prayer for good crops, it's now preserved for its cultural value. The kokiriko of the song's title is a musical instrument made from bamboo grown in the surrounding mountains. The object carried by the dancer is another handmade traditional instrument called a sasara. It's made from pieces of locally grown hinoki cypress wood tied together with string. Gokayama village developed its unique Gasho Zukuri style of building to withstand the severe environment. Together with the local artistic traditions, it's a beautiful legacy that's being carefully preserved.